Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Virtual Nunchucks, I'm glad you're here, welcome to the channel. If you're new around here, we do a little bit of gaming uh, news, updates, opinion pieces, and occasionally gameplay, and obviously reviews from time to time. Hope you guys will enjoy. In the background we have uh, the latest and greatest PS Plus title of uh, Rally 2.0, which the servers were down for three days, but that's another story entirely. Uh, we won't go there. But uh, you'll see my greatest and latest and greatest crashes and bangs because I've never played Dirt Rally 2.0 in my entire life and don't mind my two dogs back here they're playing they think they're being funny so um, anyway I've got a puppy and I've got uh, the older dog and they're playing and they sound like they're gonna eat each other so it's it's just what it is uh, anyway so if y'all can uh, deal with that while we talk about some news. Let's talk news. It's going to be a short video today. We've got um, some interesting news. First of all, first and foremost, the Switch. Uh, the Nintendo Switch uh, finally has an update out today for the last three hours or so that allows you to save if you're, if finally, if you're um, running low on storage space on your Switch. Uh, previously, the only way you could do it was to... Um, Remove the game from your storage and then have it download to an SD. But now you have an option to uh, do that without deleting your game. So basically, what they've done is they've updated the ability to stick it, uh, updated the switch to have the ability to stick a SD card in, download it directly to uh, your um, SD card without having to worry about space. Uh, right now, they said the only thing that's allowed to do uh, that is your downloadable content, your save data, and I believe the the game itself. Um, anything else is still on system storage. So, but that's cool. Um, that's cool because as long as it's been out, uh, you would have thought that that would have been an option, but uh, now it is. So there you go. Uh, the way to access this option, of course, is to go into your settings and and do it from there. But, uh, cool. I'm glad you guys finally have the option to do that. Also, uh, it, with this update, uh, I think it's update 10.0.0.0% or whatever they're calling it. But, basically, also with this update, you have the ability to map buttons on your Joy-Cons. Cool, cool, cool. Should have been able to do that a long time ago, but at least it's there now. Alright? So, if you need to remap buttons for whatever reason and uh, get an SD card... To save some storage, you can now do that and have your games accessible that way and your buttons reassigned. So awesome. Glad you guys finally have that that play switch. Secondly, oh my goodness, I still cannot get away from uh, Modern Warfare news. You would think I've done all my maps, I've done all the updates and all the crap that I usually do, but no. Mm -mm. 70,000 players of the 15 million uh, player, player base all over the world have been uh, banned. 70,000 players have been banned. I think it was 70,000. Might have been 700,000. I need to verify that real fast. Hang on. If I read that right. Either way, uh, they're banning cheaters. Okay. And more people keep getting banned. So, um, basically, it's cheaters like, you know, I, I'm assuming, based on the information that I'm reading, that it's uh, mostly PC players, which, hello, duh. You know, most of the time it's PC that has a problem. But uh, aimbot, things like that, obviously will get you caught. They monitor it 24-7 according to them, and they've uh, done several security patches to stop it. However, it's still a problem. So just keep in mind that uh, that's still going to be a thing, and uh, people are going to um, they're gonna crack down on you. So if you don't want to be one of those people, stop cheating, okay? Aimbot, uh, any number of things... Scatter mods, or sc scatter mods, jitter mods, things like that are being banned uh, left and right, according to the article. Also, you can take a look at it. Uh, their uh, Infinity Ward's uh, March blog post is on their website. You can take a look at it. They're even telling you what they're finding and how they're dealing with it. So, there you go. Um, but yeah, that's the news that's been going on the last couple of days, last day or so, since yesterday anyway. Um, one other thing, though. Uh, one other thing. And I don't know why I'm even mentioning this, because I told you guys months ago, months ago now, long time ago now, that uh, Google Stadia was going to suck, uh, and was going to be very, very bad, and was not going to be everything that they imagined it to be. 
Um, but if you are still interested in getting Stadia, um, Stadia is now offering their pro membership free for free for two months. Uh, so you don't have to pay to use the service, but you still have to pay for the video games. Uh, and then after two months, you'll have to pay for the service plus the video games. So I still think it's a bad model. Uh, I still think it's bad for our infrastructure, especially here in the United States. You guys in Europe, you guys have better infrastructure for Internet than we do. I understand that. But uh, we just don't. We have such a diverse landmass here that it's just very difficult um, to get... get uh, good internet in certain places of the country um here's my suggestion google stadia if you're going to do it and i've said this for months and other people like angry joe uh you know young yeah uh uh, uh review tech usa uh, we've all said it if you're going to do this kind of model do it like nvidia is doing theirs okay let us pay a flat rate per month to have access to the games. We will pay that. We will pay that. We will use your service for that if you have decent internet. If you don't, don't bother with it because it's still garbage. Uh, also, um, I meant to mention this yesterday in our news video, and I didn't. I uh, don't know why um, because I had so many other things going on probably, but... According to the ESRB, they are now going to change their um, labels to include a warning that uh, microtransactions are the game. Instead of saying uh, in-game purchases, they're going to say in-game purchases, but underneath that, in parentheses, they're going to put random uh, random purchases or something like that. You can go to the ESRB.org website, take a look at it for yourself. Um, but basically, it's to let you know that there's loot boxes in the game. So if you see something in parentheses that says random interaction or random chance interaction or something like that on your label, that's what it means. It has loot boxes. Me personally, I think you should just say loot boxes. But according to them, according to them, uh, their research indicates that parents don't understand what loot boxes are. Which, I'm a parent. I'm a gamer. I understand what loot boxes are. Most of the parent, most of the people of my generation, grew up with games in some form or fashion, so we understand games. Uh, so that kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but that's just me. But at least it's a small victory. At least they have some kind of uh, label on there indicating that hey, you might get what you pay for, you might not. But we still need to push them a little bit harder because loot boxes, slot machines, still simulated gambling no matter how you look at it, no matter how you slice it. And simulated gambling as well as gambling, spending real money for something digital. Uh, and if you don't get what you want, you do it again and again. That's, that's gambling and that can be an addiction and I think it needs to be addressed as such. Now I'm not for government control on everything, but in this case... Uh, you know, it needs to be looked at really, really hard. And I'm sorry, ESRB, that's not enough. Okay? I want my hobby to be as free as possible uh, from inf interference from the government. But at the same time, you guys got to do better. Anyway, guys, that's the news for today. Uh, that's the gaming news. Uh, in, in a more personal note, I promise you guys I will at least get some reactions to Metal Gear Solid Five because usually my reactions are pretty funny. If you didn't see my reactions to... Uh, uh, Shadow of the Colossus, the first 18 minutes, uh, that's on the channel as well. Uh, it's live reactions, and I didn't hold anything back, and uh, having my son watch it, he thought it was funny, and that's pretty good, considering he's 13 and he hates everything I do. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, it's not that bad. But, um, yeah. So, anyway guys, uh, don't forget, if you like gaming in any capacity, whether it's news updates, opinion pieces, or, uh, you know, gameplay, or reviews, Consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever content hits the channel. You can also follow me on Facebook.com slash Virtual Nunchucks over on Twitter at VNunchucks, of course, and Twitch.tv slash Virtual Nunchucks. You can also leave me a comment and like the video because that always shows your support for the videos and the channel itself. Uh, I will always have a conversation with you guys. Uh, I just like to keep it civil. So as long as you can do that, we can have a conversation. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.